Hey, what's up everybody? This is Zane here, and this is like a part two type thing. Not really a part, but this is just a side video on how to install fonts on, uh, on, onto like Cinema 4D and other, like Photoshop and GIMP and other stuff like that, that you can use it in. So, let's get started, like, alright. You see the uh, website URL, URL, <laughs> type in defont.com, now my computer is very slow, <laughs> now, I'll just find a random font that you might like, alright, pretend this imagine font is what you want, alright? You go over to download. Kinda let it download. <laughs> Alright. No. Oh Alright. Now open containing folder. Alright. Now I have a folder on my desktop just to extract things. Keep bringing it here. Extract it. Alright, this is your font. I want to copy it. Alright, now this is the file you need. Go into my computer. Local disk. <coughs> um, let's see. Where is it? Oh yeah, Windows. Should say Windows right here. Now this is a large, large file of random crap. I don't really care about. You gotta find this group of folders like this, and you wanna find fonts. See this folder right here? Fonts. Go in there. Now there's gonna be a lot of fonts. Now you just wanna paste it in there, or you can just drag it in there like that, but I already have it in there. Now that you have your fonts installed, I exited out of it, but <coughs> start up Cinema 4D. I'm going to have to exit out and then start it up again. Alright, now that you have Cinema 4D started up, I, alright, you need to go to, you can either do MoGraph, Text Object, or you can do go into you know, go into these splines or not spline. <laughs> do the text. Yeah, it's lagging because I'm recording, but my computer really sucks. <laughs> and then you do hypernerves, put text in put text into hypernerves. Oh my god. Or not. Other way. Not. Oh my god. You know what? I don't care. Well, um, extra nerves. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. That's what I meant. Sure. Put the text into that. Now you have 3D text, and then you can type in zips HD. And you can go ahead and choose your font. I forgot what that font is called. Uh, oh my gosh. Let me find it. <laughs> oh, Imagine Font. There we go. Now, I don't really like this font, but this is just a, uh, a tutorial, you know. So, there you have it. And it also works if you go into your Photoshop or GIMP or whatever you use. It'll have it in the fonts thing, so thank you. Please rate, subscribe, comment, whatever you have to do. Alright, I'll see you guys later.